All right. So um, we are starting out with the Queen of Swords in the reverse position, ending with the King of Swords in the reverse position. So I do sense that um, for this month, for August, one of the danger that um, you are going to have to deal with is basically, you know, balancing the give and take in a relationship. Okay. And um, I do feel as well, there is some some type of karmic um, energy coming through with this air sign person that you're you've been dealing with for quite some time. An air sign is um, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. So that could be their sun, moon rising. And I do sense at the same time, you know, this is somebody that you were involved with extensively. We have the devil in the reverse, and I do sense that. Um, the relationship itself is dissolving and it seems as if it's dissolving for good for your greater good for their greater good but there is also like a very karmic um lesson that is learned here which is that um you can only give so much of yourself in order to sustain it if both parties are not giving equal amount this relationship is inherently unbalanced from the past too and for this month you are going to be able to break away from these chains and the i guess the toxicity involved in this situation it can be from your side or their side but i do sense as well there is a, a feeling of like um, both of you having like mutual friends having a lot of people that you uh you both know mutually and in the past, because of it, it became like one of those convenient type of relationship. And now that it's dissolving and it's gone for good, there might be a little bit of gossip around your environment regarding this person. Or there might be, you know, mutual friends coming through um, asking you about, you know, the other person if you're still together and things like that. So then you have to like break the news to them. At the same time, the other person might also have to break the news to their friends. So it's just, um, it, it's just, Overall, it's a little bit awkward, but I do feel that more than anything, the devil in the reverse is always a good thing to have in a reading. Um, it indicates, you know, breaking away from bondage, breaking away from unhealthy ties or even relationships that were like on and off. And even though there might be like a lot of um, feelings involved for this month, especially, I do feel this part, there's going to be communication between you and an air sign because we have the queen and the king of swords. There is going to be communication between you and, air, and the air sign in order for you both to find closure. So I do feel it is definitely closure inducing and you both can, you know, decide what you want to do once and for all. I do sense at the same time, um, if you have, um, if you have somebody like an air sign that you've been thinking about or that is like weighing heavily on your mind i do feel the air sign is also moving on with his or her life and um this relationship itself i don't feel that it can be rekindled in any way okay so just keep that in mind um a lot of you might be dealing with a fire sign as well especially a leo so a fire sign is um i'm getting the strength energy which is a um an Aries, Sagittarius, or, or Leo, and I do feel specifically it might be a Leo. Um, there is some sort of a cementing of the ties with this person, okay? We have the Two of Cups in the on top of it, and then the Strength card underneath. So there is some sort of like, um, I guess like um, escalation in the relationship. There is sort of like taking a relationship to the next level. So you might be dating somebody of a fire sign, and then you're not really sure how, you know, in the past, you're not sure what you want to do. But for this month, I do sense a lot of escalation in terms of, you know, committing to one another, dating one another exclusively, getting engaged, getting married. So an escalation in the seriousness of the relationship. And it has a very, very positive outcome because I do feel that this is somebody that, um, first of all, it's a opposite energy your water their fire so there's already intense like physical um, chemistry there's also like an emotional bond a very em strong emotional rapport with this fire sign person as well and um, you feel they make you feel very at home so that's what i'm sensing here um for a lot of you too you might be shifting your energy from an air sign to like a fire sign or you might be, you know, in a relationship with an air sign, dabbling with a fire sign. So that's what I'm sensing as well. 
And because of it, you're going to have to decide if you really want to be in a relationship with this air sign because overall, the cards regarding the air signs are not looking too positive. We have the devil reverse, which is that um, it's something that was potentially toxic in the past and it didn't really have a future. You don't really have a future, solid future together. And then ending with the six of um, cups in the reverse position, it's sort of like this is a card of memories, okay? And you're looking back at the past with this, your past history with this air sign. And you're also thinking that, you know, um, it hasn't been all that great. They haven't been that entirely supportive. So, you know, keep this in mind. But I, I would say that this is a, a very karmic relationship. So more than anything, I do believe it is a great learning experience from both parties, okay, for both parties. So even the, though there is still, you know, deep down, there is a lack of balance, you might be the one giving them a lot of emotional support due to your nature. They might be the one giving you a lot of um, logistical or even like um, objective, you know, assessment. So already the approach that you both are taking um, in the relationship, it's like it's imbalanced because um, the air sign is very, very rational. They're hasty. They're quite impatient. And uh, verbally, they might not be entirely supportive. Whereas, you know, we're, they're the water sign. You you give your all. You give your, your emotional support to this person and they might take and take and take and there is going to be you know a sense of closure coming in so in essence if you have been involved with an air sign you're going to learn to like toughen up your skin you're going to learn to toughen up your thinking processes to be a little more objective so overall it is a really really great learning experience for both parties as well okay they're learning to soften up and i do feel they are going to start softening up in the future for their other relationships and you are learning to be a little bit more discerning based on you know your experiences and being in you know close proximity with them you know how they think so it's a mutually beneficial relationship you might be feeling a little bit emotionally drained and unsupported but through it all i do feel that for this is a um, a very strong karmic type of relationship. And I do sense that the full moon that happened on the 31st, the blue moon in Aquarius, it's um, it's an Aquarius is also a fellow air sign. So I do sense that it is going to bring a lot of illumination into how you how this relationship um, was basically like um, how the relationship played out in your memories versus the reality of it playing out in real life okay there is going to be endings and there's going to be new beginnings so endings with the air sign and also new beginnings with potentially a fire sign or at least a new beginning in a relationship that is a lot more balanced that is a lot more supportive for your goals your aspiration and your emotional depth okay so overall it's, it's looking very great um so aside from that, um, for those of you in stable relationships in general, I do sense there is going to be kind of like um, a, a sense of matching, okay? You're coming into new relationships or your current relationship, and both sides have reached essentially like a truce as to what they want to do with one another. In the past, there might have been like a lot of social dating where you and the other party are both like dating many, many people and you're trying to figure out what it is that you really want. And then in the midst of this, in for this month, if there is a relationship, like um, something that's escalating, that's becoming more serious, more grounded, you both are essentially on the same page. There is a, a mutual exchange and there is also a mutual like um, understanding, uh, like a common ground approaching this relationship in a in a very mature manner and you're both deciding on you know what do you want to do let's just not get carried away let's just you know settle something into more of a stable pattern just so that both parties are on the same page there aren't, aren't other people around and the relationship is going to be balanced in the future so in general it, it's looking very very good for you um, on the relationship front okay um, the thing I would say as well is um, I do feel for a lot of cancers, um, male or female, in the past, you have been pretty, you know, monogamous. 
you you like get into relationships and you tend to you know give it your all if it doesn't work it takes you a while to finally leave it and move forward because you get very emotionally invested in relationships especially for cancer women and you want that happy home you want the you know um the the puppy love the childhood carefree you know as long as we're together we don't need anything else we don't need money we don't need the house and the car as long as we're together it's going to be all right so that's what you wanted in the past moving forward though you're a little bit more i wouldn't say jaded but i i would say like you're a little bit more realistic in your expectations and you're a lot more realistic about um in your the way you look at other people especially like potential love interests if they don't you know meet your criteria if they don't check all the boxes in your you know requirements list you're not going to waste your time so i do feel that you are putting your guard up a little bit and there is nothing wrong with that it, if anything i do suggest that um you withdraw a little bit and approach relationships in a more objective manner that way you don't end up disappointed okay so aside from that it's going to take you a lot a lot of you have gotten out of serious relationships too so moving forward you're still committed but you're going to like take things extra extra slow because the strength card is also a lot about patience and whenever i see this card in a relationship spread or in a relationship oriented spread i always feel like your guys are telling you you know don't fall head over heels too fast just slow down you know just enjoy the process um enjoy the process of dating of getting to know one another Enjoy the process of looking at the other person very, very objectively without, you know, colored, without your judgment being colored by uh, lust, by infatuation, okay? So it's a very nice energy for you, and I do feel that... Um, when you go into relationships without expectations, without, you know, thinking like, oh, this has to be the one because I'm a certain age and I have to get into a relationship. I have to, have to have children at a certain age. I have to get engaged at a certain age or married at a certain age. This is like letting go of, you know, um, relationship agendas. So in the reverse position, it's actually looking very good and you're actually viewing the other person on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So you're not bringing your emotional baggage from your past. And, um, you know, it's also, it's really important to learn from our past, but at the same time, when we are encountering like a new person in new energy, it is really important to also not allow our past history to color our present relationship. And what I mean by that is if you've had like three, you know, serious relationship in the past, for example, and you know you have always been cheated on or you have always been mistreated and then you're coming into the new relationship with like fear or with like a lot of anxiety whenever you know you text somebody and they don't immediately text you back and you you cycle through like worst case scenarios i do feel for this month you are going to let that go you're not going to be your um moping around when people are um, doing other things and they don't get back to you right away you're going to enjoy your social life and you're going to go out there and just you know live your life independent with, with another of another person so there is a great air of detachment coming through from you on the relationship front in general and you're also able to sever ties especially or find closure in past relationships if they haven't worked out in the in the past all right so aside from that what i do sense as well is um you know, I have the justice card in the reverse position and I have, you know, two of the classically the, the two soulmate cards that I usually look at. And I do sense that um, for for a lot of cancers in general, this is a make it or break it type of month in which, you know, you are going to sever old ties for good. I, I feel that there is going to be a discussion, a hashing out and ties are being severed for people for good okay when it comes to interpersonal relationships like family relationships love relationships as well so what i do feel is this is you know something that could have happened in the past too you had a really really strong emotional bond but then moving forward you realize you know once those um once the other person is kind of like out of the picture you have a, a 
better sense of detachment and objectivity. And you're looking back at the relationship and you're thinking to yourself, you know, oh, it wasn't that great. It wasn't that great. I'm just really happy being on my own. Or I'm really happy with this, you know, other partner that is coming through for me. So what I'm going to do is, you know, once and for all, sever old ties and keep myself distant from this toxic relationship from the past and then I can move forward okay so aside from that I do sense that um you know the justice card in the reverse position is basically separation as well divorces splitting up the assets and I do feel that a lot of you um you do go out of your way for other people just make sure that when it comes to divvying up the assets if you're in a if you were in a committed relationship and you're thinking about divorce and things like that that's one of the last residual energy you know it's just like uh, that's the last string of attachment tying you to your old situation once it is resolved and it's going to it feels to me like it's going to get dragged on for another few months and i would say like possibly until um october for this um, divvying up assets, children, you know, things that you have in common, for it to be completely done for good. And then in the time of like Libra, which is um, September 20, I, I believe it's 22nd, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, September 22nd to August um, to October 22nd, excuse me, in the time of Libra, all of this situation will be resolved for good, okay? So also on the uh, work front, I do feel that, um, you know, this is a traditionally the card of a financial windfall. So on the work front, a lot of you might have like recently undergone um, some type of uh, an interview, like especially group interviews, you're looked at very, very favorably. And I do feel that um, if you're looking for new work and this ha was implemented um, in July or especially for this month, things are looking very good on the financial front, okay? Money is going to be a little bit slow in coming through, but I do feel that um, offers are definitely being made to you. And the new work situation looks extremely favorable because you're going to be with people who are like-minded. In the past, things weren't that great. You might be in a, a job where you, you were tied to it for financial reasons, but moving forward, you're going to be in a much better environment where people like carry their own weight, where everyone is like, um, you know, doing what they're supposed to, they're where they're supposed to, and no one is reneging on their promises on the work front. And when they say they're going to do something, you can rest assured that it's going to be done. So it doesn't like create, you know, slack, or um, it doesn't create like uh, logistical problems on the work front. So things are looking very, very good. And a lot of you two might be deferring to work as a distraction from possibly legal issues on the home front or separation from previous partners, okay? Um, for those of you who are thinking about, you know, leaving your current job and um, pursuing a, a different career, and in the meantime, you know, you, you might be... Um, taking like you might be getting pension alimony or something like that I do feel that there is a, a source of money coming through either you know at the heels of a divorce there might be alimony child support and things like that there could also be like um getting unemployment from your your work environment so either way that is coming through but i do feel the process might get dragged on until the end of next month or it might get dragged on until like september when you actually get the first paycheck of a significant sum of money coming through for you on a regular basis or at least on a biannual basis for like six months on and then you will find a new job that is going to be really favorable for you so i do feel other people's money coming through and a especially like official money um, from an institution, from a company, some type of um, employee salary kind of payout coming through. But the process itself is getting de um, delayed and for another like a period of six months. Okay, so that's coming through as well. So um, in general, it's going to be a very, very good month. It is very romantic. It's um, it's basically like centered around love, relationship, and money. And, you know, finances and, and love are usually can be read based on the same tarot cards, which is really interesting. So for this month, if there are legal issues, if a lot of you are um, in the midst of a trial for something that is potentially related to most likely divorce, most likely like workers' comp type of situation, or even... Um, even like um, 
So legal issues regarding, regarding health, regarding employment, you know, if you had like a, a falling out with a, a previous employee and then things haven't been too great in the past because whoever chose, uh, you chose to represent you were kind of like muddled and, and cloudy in their thinking, I do feel that um, you are going to seek counsel elsewhere and the new counsel you seek has their things together, okay? So it's a pretty much the same energy. And I usually look at the first card and the last card to see your progression through this month. And uh, <clears throat> because it's an air energy and you're a water sign, I do feel that a lot of you have like um, have gone into a self-protective type of mode in which you withdrew inside your shell of a crab and you're basically um, looking at life through the peepholes. You want to experience it all, but you're going to be very slow and very meticulous about how you want things executed, okay? So there's going to be a period of contemplation, but I do sense you kind of have a partner in crime. There's somebody in your midst who is very emotionally supportive. So you're kind of withdrawing from the social scene and you're spending time exclusively with like one other person. It could be a fire sign. It could also be a new, brand new air sign that's coming through. But either way, the um, the spread for this month is very other oriented. So even though you want to withdraw, there's still somebody very significant in your life who you have a very strong emotional rapport with coming through in order to help you as well as in order to occupy your time. So it's overall a very, very romantic month. It's also very good for seeking closure if there are things that have been baffling or troubling you or you don't really have clear answers for. I do sense that a lot of um, illumination is coming through and, you know, succinct, concise, and even like um, very good insights and advice are coming through for you as well from other people 